Hello, welcome or welcome back to Emily Reads Books. My name is Emily and today I'm going to talk about my May TBR. I'll also kind of be doing an April wrap up since I don't do too many of these videos and I've been trying to make more videos. I promise more content is coming soon. I've just been crazy busy with life and work and amongst other things and I just haven't had a lot of time to film or actually read even so uh, but I did end up reading a few books in April I like many people way overestimated myself and so a lot of my April TBR books are also gonna be on the May TBR and I'm I, I didn't put too many new ones on my TBR for me so I'm hoping that I can actually get through all of them this month we will have to see. So without further ado, let's talk about April. One of the first books I read was Dr. Sleep. This was a buddy read with my great friend Hugo over at Hugo Reads and we buddy read this. I think I ended up giving it four stars. He did a whole review, so <sighs> my cat. Hugo actually ended up doing a whole review of this book, spoiler free, so go check out his video if you want to know more about this book. I ended up giving it four stars. Uh, four, four and a half. I thought it was great. I haven't read too much Stephen King. I really enjoyed the writing style. I loved that it was a sequel to The Shining, which is another story that I, I really enjoyed by him. It's like the only other Stephen King book I have actually read in full. Carol is here. She's just out of frame. You can't see her. But yeah, it was great and I enjoyed the story a lot. I love character development that Danny goes through the entire book and I had seen the movie first and the book was definitely not disappointing even knowing the plot of the story. So definitely a great read, loved it. Next I read And Then You Were Gone by RJ Jacobs and this was a short mystery thriller where a woman named Emily actually, which was wild to me, who has bipolar disorder, she and her fiance, fiance? I don't know, boyfriend or fiance, someone like that. They go on a boating trip and she wakes up the next day and he has disappeared and they believe him to be dead and she is now one of the only suspects but she knows that it cannot be her. And through the story we see how her mental illness kind of affects the way people view her in situations like this as someone who's like unreliable, as a witness, un uncontrollable and we also kind of see how it inhibits and also is a great strength for her as well which is not something that we see often in books that portray mental illness which was really cool and we saw <laughs> carol is here so we actually see how it is something that is also used as a strength for her and the author himself is a psychiatrist which you know isn't always the end all be all in terms of writing mental illness well but he is someone who specializes in ptsd and mental illness so it was really cool to read a book from that perspective and i think i gave it four stars as well it was a good book the pacing was good it wasn't too long of a book but i didn't really feel too much for any of the characters except for our protagonist um so yeah it was but it was great the by book club book of the month was the swede and i did read this <laughs> this was a three star book for me it is a mystery thriller hello <laughs> please excuse the tale uh it is a mystery thriller that follows ernst grip who is a security officer in sweden and he is called in by the american fbi to question a prisoner of war terrorist kind of guy not prisoner of war what am i talking about he was <laughs> found linked to a terrorist organization uh, and this is seven years after 9-11. Um, I thought the I thought the book brought up a lot of really good points about the way that Americans view people during times like <laughs> we were in and even now um, but it was it had a lot of really interesting political political insight from an outsider's perspective uh, which I wasn't expecting but it was a really great surprise. I also thought that the mystery element was done really well. The one thing that I didn't really love about it was there's a lot of switching perspectives and like time jumps and sometimes keeping the story straight within the time jumps and the switching perspectives was just a little bit too much for me. But overall, um, three stars for me is not a bad review. I would actually say it's probably three and a half for me because I did enjoy it. It just took me a little bit and there were a few moments that really took me out of it, but there's a really amazing 
want to call it a heist. There's like a really amazing robbery scene in it that was super jam-packed and interesting. And like I said, it is a thriller, uh, but it did bring up a lot of really interesting political points from an outside perspective. From someone, the, the author is Swedish, but served in the American Armed Forces. So really interesting perspective from the author there. So if you're looking for something maybe a little bit different and the protagonist is bi, so there you go. <laughs> might be something interesting to look into. And last but not least, I am about three pages left in this book, something like that. I should have just finished it before this video. I read Bell by Cameron Doki, Doki, something like that. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, because there's always one, it, and it is exactly that, uh, except that the Belle, uh, her name's Annabelle, uh, Annabelle is not a very beautiful girl, and it is actually both of her sisters who are quite beautiful and talented, and, but however, she really likes to carve wood with her father and is kind of like an artist in that sense. There is a tale about this magical tree that two lovers planted, and it is said that if someone carves uh, something from a, a bow from that tree, a bow, a bow, a bow, whatever, a branch, from that tree, it will show them the face of true love and the beast. We don't know why really, <laughs> but uh, the beast is trapped in this sort of magical realm where this tree is in the heart of the forest and he needs to find someone who is able to see the face of true love. Anyway, that's obviously the Belle character here. We actually don't meet the beast until like three quarters through the book and he is like a super nice guy not really a beast at all except in look so uh but i really loved the familial relationship that we have and the father-daughter relationship between Belle and her father uh, in this book i thought that was really well done it was beautiful and i thought the author did a great job with that i think this is gonna end up being another three to four star though it was a good read but it's definitely not a favorite by far and it didn't other than the whole like folklore with the tree and everything it didn't really bring anything new to the retelling which obviously retellings are meant to be similar to the original and i thought it was well done i just it just wasn't one that uh, stuck out to me as being much better than the rest i've read a lot <laughs> so okay so that is all i finished in april segue here into my may tbr six of pros now i didn't put this on the april wrap up obviously because i haven't finished it yet i'm about I don't know, a third of the way through, and like, let me tell you, I have been struggling with this book because I was expecting so much, and the first, like, quarter of this book was so slow. I mean, like, we were, I was a hundred pages into this book, and we were still meeting people <laughs> for this heist, and I was like, what is even ha going on? I get that we have like a lot of world building to do and a lot of people that we have to meet. I am vlogging this, so hopefully that will turn out okay and I'll post it, but it's, it's fine. I don't, I'm not gonna DNF it by any means because I'm determined to finish it and see why everyone is so obsessed with it, uh, but I am not disappointed so far, but I'm just kind of waiting for it to get really good, if you know what I mean. So, six of growth. Next, I decided to join the Stephen King book club because I needed, I, I find that if I have other people who are relying on me to finish something to join in on the conversation, I am better about reading more. So I decided to join them and read Night Shift by Stephen King this month. I am about 40 pages into it. It's quite interesting so far. Um, the first story is called Jerusalem's Lot and it reads very similarly to Dracula, and uh, so that was really interesting and definitely not what I was expecting. I am excited to read the rest of this. I don't read a ton of horror, and this will be like my third or fourth Stephen King novel ever, so just kind of excited to continue to read more of his work. And I'm excited to partake in the book club with all my friends. On the subject of Stephen King, I also was at the library and picked up Carrie by Stephen King. My friend Logan, the Bible book boy, who is also in the Bible book club with me, has recommended this to me before. It is a shorter novel by Stephen King, and I love the musical. And <laughs> that's a horrible reason to read this book, and it's not my only reason to read this book, but I am excited to read this. And I'm happy that it's a little bit shorter, so I'm like really hoping I can get through it this month. I'm gonna be so mad <laughs> if I don't. 
but then it'll just be for June, right? I cannot believe we're almost halfway through this year. Okay, moving on. For the Buy Book Club Book of the Month, we're reading An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. Hank Green, our savior, our, our bisexual savior, wrote this book. We love him. And I honestly could not tell you the plot of this book even if I tried. I have read the synopsis 15 times and I still don't fully understand it. From what I get from it, there is some sort of alien that comes to Earth and our main character, who is bisexual, named April May, is the first one to document these aliens' existence on Earth and they, she kind of becomes like a viral overnight and so it's kind of her navigating what that means for her and her relationships. That is what I understand about this book. I'm very excited to read it. I've heard such great things about it and join our book club and watch the live stream it's gonna be a great time okay another book that i took from april or may is gonna be warbreaker from brandon sanderson i am trying so hard to get through all these sanderson books in the cosmere it is taking me forever they're just really long okay i'm trying my best i started this before i finished words of radiance because i was told that if i read the prologue i would get the little tidbit at the end of Words of Radiance. And I did, and it was great. It just wasn't as great as people hyped it up to be. <laughs> but I am really excited to read this. I think it's just gonna be a little bit different than everything else Sanderson has written. And it's a standalone, I think. I'm, yeah, it is, isn't it? Am I crazy? Whatever. Carol is sitting here right here. She's a little camera shy. She still likes to be here though. I think it's a little bit different than a lot of his other stuff. Uh, and I've heard that from a lot of people. So I'm really hoping that it turns out to be great. I think it will. And then lastly, the book, the last book I plan on reading this month is A Wrinkle in Time. I found this book for very little money at a thrift store forever ago and it's a book that everyone read when they were little and I just didn't and it's nice and short. I'm hoping to get through it uh, this month along with all of my other short <laughs> books that I'm reading. It's supposed to be really good. I've heard a lot about it I, but honestly I don't know. I don't know anything about it and people just love to talk about it. So I hope to read it and know what people are talking about. <laughs> And I know it's a movie, and I wanted to watch the movie, but then I stopped myself because I knew I was going to read the book first. So, here it is. Here's the book. It's here in my hands. I'm going to read it this month. I'm promising myself. I think that's it. Okay. <sighs> Will I make it through my May TBR? Probably not. Thank you so much for watching. If you stuck through to the end, I appreciate you being here. I hope you have a great rest of your week.